All right, here we go. This is the dive that we've all come for. Oh no. If I were a diver, I'd love to do this. But at the same time, if I knew there was stuff like that down there, then maybe not. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret, we can get in through there. Careful. Alright, let's go. Ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. Another picture. Ooh, that's a very interesting one. Take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Yeah, we're gonna be concerned. I'm not doing Maybe that. It is kind of dangerous. Well, let's just keep on going. Well, bullet. Brad would really like that. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. <laughs> so the secrets we've found so far... Oh, we've found quite a lot already. I think some of them might already be... Actually, no, yeah, I think... It's showing some of them from my last game. Is it? I'm not too sure if... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, wait, a medical chart of a patient shows that they died of a sudden. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it saves the the secrets, or some of them, uh, from your last game save as well. Let me have a look more. So no, I don't think it does. <laughs> I don't know. It might do. I think it saves a couple. A couple more. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's quite. That's quite cool. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good oh God. no. Oh my God. Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Interesting. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. the guy that we're driving it whoa, whoa. why did that scare me when I knew that we're gonna come my wet, my wet suit. 
and life gives you lemons. Phew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Oh, Julia! My God! Just don't touch anything else, please. <laughs> All right, let's see if we've missed anything. I don't think we did. I think we covered everything that we're down here. We did. We had a look at that. Did we see this? Oh yeah, the picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that another picture? What's that? I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. We've looked at all that. What else is there to do? Is there anything around here? I don't want to go in there. I don't want to risk it. Um, I don't know. I mean, we could try it. We'll try it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. We we didn't do this the first time, so. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's do it. Never seen this before. Gotta be careful. Oh no, please don't say she can die from this. <gasps> Is it squid? Oh, oh it's, it's alright. Oh. How does she get back there? It can't pull her legs when she's that far down. No, I missed it! Yes, oh, it gave me two chances. Oh yes, it shot me out. Yes, nice, no, no, nice. Oh, I'm so thankful that it gave me two two opportunities then. Whew. You do something stupid down here. That's it. One chance. You get that. Chill out. I'm fine. See, no problem. <laughs> All right. What did we find? Searched area one clear, searched area two clear, searched area three clear. So is this all we found? Oh, yeah. Launched from a US base. That's quite interesting. They were on their way to help out a ship. Yeah, that's what moved this the the ship. I mean the the, uh, the what's it called the wreck. With them guys driving that boat. Ooh. <gasps> no. Oh God, I couldn't do that. That's one reason why I don't want to go diving. But I'd love to do it at the same time. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time. Ooh, here we go. Then, didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. <gasps> oh. I never did I this on the last one. Because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? 
Suspicious. You're me, right? What? <laughs> like you there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh. <laughs> okay, come out, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. Course I will. Yeah. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. Well, we can't really kiss right now. <laughs> oh, I love that. These are my favorite characters as well, bear right, in mind. Awesome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, is this I got a trophy. Yes, yes, up. I'll okay. marry you. Where did the Alright, we need to fully decompress here. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn. Good time, man. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Reluctant. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Well, let's go. Hey, what the hell is going on? <laughs> it's just What's the barbecue. Happened? Pardon it's me. Cool, man. It's just the barbecue. Right what even happened? With the barbecue. Oh, you can see that in the creator's cut, by the way. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. That is a good way to propose. While diving underwater, that's crazy. What a, what a day to experience. Well, you know. <laughs> Alright, we're back with the creator. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia. The love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. That's right. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Could say or that. Maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let Never. me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you very much for that. Alright, what we got next? So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. So, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Cheerful. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually.
Um. Sentimental. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Should we be playful? I, I, I want to be. I want to do both. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do playful. Like a rug, so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I. Uh got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh no. We're gonna go with mischievous this time. As a jerk. Cold guard! The cold guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> oh brother! <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that. <laughs> oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that's the camera that we took underwater. Can we do anything? Oh, there we go. Really is. I never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, are we going again tomorrow? Oh, that's the bullet. I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of forgot what I was trying to find now. <laughs> hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Ooh. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Oh, Brad doesn't <laughs> want to know. No resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. 
they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Put it in. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. <laughs> not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Supportive. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Uh. What's on to shush? <laughs> I love that. Answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then <laughs> it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. A meat hook. Uh... So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still his. I love this bit. Says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams <laughs> why that scare me again oh, hey, oh, super twist <laughs> nice one squire appreciative you have me going pretty cool heavy on the cheese there corn dog okay you've all had your fun we should all turn in there's someone let's look at the relationship Alex, it's going up a lot. When I played it the last playthrough, I managed to get Alex and I managed to get Alex and uh, Julia's relationship all the way to the top, so I got a trophy for that. Brad, it's up a bit, and then Conrad, obviously second most. Um, so she's selfish, generous, excited, and witty. All right. Heading our way. Uh uh. No 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we are all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. All right, and there we go. Oh, really? I like that part. So we're gonna leave it here. This is now, 
yeah, this is the second part. So the third part, we'll be getting back into it again. So I might be uploading that in a day or, or something like that. Or maybe, I don't know. But it's been a good part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And uh, in the last playthrough, I didn't propose. So this one is very different. I'm glad I proposed. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.